Hello, we are Henry, Charlie, and Ethan. Today we'll talk about Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill Co Cody, William Frederick Cody, was born on February 26, 1846, in Lake Iowa. Buffalo Bill Cody was an American scout, bison hunter, and showman. Buffalo Bill Cody said he wanted every Native American to have equal rights. In his count, he killed 4,280 buffalo in 18 months. The Buffalo Bills football team is named after Buffalo Bill Cody. We connect Buffalo Bill Cody with Rochester because he was a resident of Rochester for two years. Fun, fun fact, his neighbor was Susan B. Anthony. Buffalo Bill's show partner was dentist and exhibition shooter Dr. W. F. Carver. Cody and Carver took the show subtitled Rocky Mountains and Prairie Ex Exhibition across the country to popular exclaim and favorable reviews. reviews. Launching a genre of outdoor entertainment that thrived for 30 years. He passed away on January 10th, 1917 in Denver, Colorado. See you next time on Channel 12. Hi, my name is Nick. Hi, my name is Austin. And today we're talking about Abbots. Nick, do you know anything about Abbots? Yes, I do know a couple of things. One is that the founder of Abbots was Arthur Abbott, and the company was founded in 1902. Do you know anything else about Abbots? Yes, I know the company has grown a lot and has expanded all over the continent. Last year, the company had at least 240 million customers. Each Abbott stand switches through flavors each day from mint chocolate chip to pumpkin spice frozen custard. A couple of words to describe Abbott's is smooth, rich, creamy, velvety, and gourmet tasty, and don't forget dense. Another thing I bet you didn't know is that half of every scoop is comprised with nothing but air. Amazing, right? Yup, Abbott's ice cream is pretty healthy if you don't have it too often. The temperature of the ice cream is between 22 and 24 Fahrenheit. And the headquarters and shop are at the northern end of Lake Avenue in Rochester, so pretty close to here. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. See, See you next, next time. time. Hello, my name is Jasper Weigel. And I am Trevor Nolan. Today we are going to share about the history of the Erie Canal in Rochester. The Erie Canal was an eight-year effort. The canal was planned by DeWitt Clinton. The creation of the canal started in 1817 and ended in 1825. The canal was enlarged between 1836 and 1862. The Erie Canal runs from Albany to Buffalo and intersects with the Genesee River. At one point over time, 50,000 people depended on the Erie Canal for their livelihood. Tens of thousands of workers used hand tools to build the Erie Canal. The Erie Canal is one of the longest artificial waterways, and that's standing 363 miles. The Erie Canal is important to the state of New York. And it was also very important to the history of Rochester. It turned Rochester from a small town into a big city. Those were just a few facts about the Erie Canal. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey folks, my name is Will. And my name and my name is Lucian. We're gonna we're here to talk about the Rochester Subway, the Rochester Industrial and Rapid Transit Railway, more commonly known as the Rochester R Subway, was a light rail and rapid transit line in the city of Rochester, New York, from 1927 to 1956. The subway was constructed in the bed of the old Erie Canal, which allowed the route to be grade separated for its entire length. Two miles, 3.2 kilometers, of the route through downtown was the subway. The Rochester subway was designed to funnel interurban traffic off of city streets and to facilitate freight interchange between the railroads. The line was operated on a contract basis by New York State Railways until Rochester Transit Co Cooperation, Corporation, RTC, took over in 1938. The last day of passenger service was June 30th, 1956. Portions of the portions of the right of way were used 
for expressway construction, while the rest was abandoned and, fi and filled over the years. The largest mm -hmm. remaining section of a stretch of underground tunnel under Broad Street from Exchange Street to the intersection of Court Street and South Avenue. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Tejas. I'm Charlie. Today we're going to tell you some facts about Frederick Douglass. One fact about Frederick Douglass is abolition of slavery was Frederick Douglass' greatest desire. His parents were Harriet Bailey and Aaron Anthony. Frederick Douglass was born at Tobot County, Maryland, U.S. in 1818 and died at age 77, 1895, February 20th, of heart attack in Washington, D.C., U.S. Douglass met President Lincoln three times because Douglass was a Republican. He had five children, Rosetta, Lewis Henry, Frederick, Charles Remond, and Anna. Frederick Douglass was an African-American social reformer, abolitionist, orator, writer, and statesman. Frederick Douglass was most famous for being a star intellectual of his time, advising presidents. Douglass described his daring escape on a train ride from Baltimore to Philadelphia. A quote from him is, No man can truly be free whose liberty is dependent upon the thought, feeling, and action of others, and who has himself no means in his own hands for guarding, protecting, and maintaining that liberty. And those are all our facts about Frederick Douglass. Have a great rest of the day.